Hello, everybody. From the heart of the Netherlands to the heart of the Nail Technician, this is Nail Talk Live, a program completely focused around everything to do with nails. And we have a full program tonight, and my co-host Jessica Patberg is already sitting at a tech table at the other side of the studio. Hi, yes. Hello, here I am. Well, if uh, I feel a bit dif distance uh, between us. Papai. Well, it's social distancing, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> yeah. And we maintain not one and a half meters, we maintain about eight and a half meters. Yeah. But you're going to show a technique today. You're going to make a beautiful nail art. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, really stoked about it. Uh, I'm going to show well, uh, a tattoo art design uh, using the through the looking glass uh, polishes, of course, and liner gel. So can't wait to show it to you all. Can you show us uh, the end result? Yes. So the, the nail that you're going to make tonight? Of course. This is the owl that I'm going to make uh, now in this show. And on the Dutch ver version, I've done this one. Yeah, and it's but layering it's designs. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Thank you. Of course, uh, while Jessica is working, we also have other trainers, our international trainers, the magnetic trainers, that also created beautiful demonstrations. And I will walk you through this. So the first video that we're going to have a look at, uh, we're going to check out, is Julia Vorobieva creating the feather of a peacock. So Julia is first going to start with an application of Black as Black gel polish. Even though she's working on the black tip, she needs this Black as Black gel polish because she needs the sticky layer after cure. Because it's this sticky layer that she will use to apply her nail art foil to the surface of the nail. And just do this randomly, it doesn't need to be perfect, just here and there a little bit of foil to give a shimmer, a shine to the design. She does this quite often, especially with the silk flower technique, to give depth. So, she's going to use uh, the pink glass gel polish. And the pink glass gel polish is, of course, transparent, but use it sparingly. Just create a little hint of color here and there. And to intensify this pink effect, after curing this coat, she's also adding some neon pink pigment powder particles, using the ombre tool, and she's just massaging these particles in there to give more definition and a more pink tone, especially on the edges of the nail, not so much in the center of the nail. To fixate everything, a coat of Extreme Matte Top Gel is applied, also because this is the, the top coat of choice when Julia Vorobieva wants to create paint work or line work. And she's doing this with Liner Gel Black. Liner Gel Black is a very intense black color, and while working with the Paints Choice brush, named after myself, but it's a long-haired brush, perfect for thin lines, longer thin lines, as you can see. She's using the shadow effect underneath the extreme mud, so a little bit following the foil here and there, creating an abstracted peacock feather, or the eye of the peacock feather. Always working from thicker parts to thinner parts, and the thicker parts are necessary to give a better definition to the whole design, to give the contrast that any nail art design needs. Of course, you don't need to cure liner gel uh, between every single stroke that you apply to the surface. You just continue working until you're completely satisfied, and that's the moment that you cure liner gel for about 30 to 60 seconds. Adding more definition, as you can see, the bottom part is a little bit more, has more volume, is more, is thicker, to give the end some more definition. When this is cured, and you can see it's beautiful, even, even without any next steps, it's already beautiful. The glass gel polishes are very popular, not only for Julia Vorobieva, for, but for Jessica, for all of us, and I see the most stunning designs created with these glass gel polishes. The three colors that Julia is using is the yellow, the pink, and the red. And the red is a magenta shade. Also the bronze chrome and the gold chrome, which is very lime-like. So first, she's pushing the chrome with the silicone shaper into the tiny bit of sticky layer of the liner gel black. So this gives an almost sticker-like effect 
to the lines that she created with liner black. As you can see, this is a beautiful now, really shiny, because when you use the silicone shaper, the chrome also becomes shinier than when you use any other tool. Filling in certain parts of the peacock feather with a mixture of the yellow, the red and the pink, creating more depth and definition to the actual feather design. Do this randomly, don't be too precise. Take a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red and just mix it on the nail. Julia now creates a shadow color and shadow colors are always made of black together with colors that are already in the design. In this case, yellow and a little bit of red. And with this shadow color, it's not a real dark shadow color, it's like a semi-shadow. She's outlining the peacock feather and really separating the feather from the first layer of the design. So the layer the underneath. And this separation is necessary to help your eye see what's happening on the design, or in the design, as in art. When this is cured, extreme mud is applied again to the surface of this nail. Make sure to make the surface quite even. You can do this by applying the extreme mud top gel a little bit thicker. Then she's going back to the liner gel black because of course, even though the design is already beautiful, Julia Vorobieva has an unlimited source of creativity and she sees the design building from the bottom layer to the top layer. The black lines really give sharp definition to the whole. And when I saw this first, I thought, well, she's just leaving this black and I already love how this looks with only the black. But it's quite perhaps masculine if you would use pure black in this design. Make sure that you work with thin lines, small applications, because the background is equally important as the painted design. The chrome powders are again used, the combination really pushing it into the liner gel using your silicone shaper, and then course remove the excess and finish the design using air nails top gel but you could also choose for instance supreme finish without sticky layer or even base and top now you can see the pure definition of art beautiful it's almost like a jewel i think of stained glass windows tiffany lampshades jewels peacock feathers abstract really an amazing design all made possible with the products of magnetic done by Julia Vorobieva. Make sure that you follow her on Instagram or on Facebook because her inspiration inspires all of us. This also accounts for our very own Jessica. And you're going to start your design. Yes, I am. Uh, well, after Julia, now I come. Huh? Um, let's first take a look at my end result. Then you understand what I'm going to do. So, this is the owl. But if you look really closely, um, my owl has layers. The first layer is a stamp. Do you see all the blue that with pigments in? This is my first step that I'm going to do. Then I'm going to cap that with extreme at top and over that layer I'm going to uh, paint with liner gel white. So let's do first the first step. This is my tip. Uh, I um, also did one layer of black as black gel polish and uh, the extreme matte top gel. And then I buff my surface because I'm going to stamp with my pigments and I need to remove all of the pigments uh, from my stamp. So in between, you need to have roughness to get it uh, well really clean and uh, away from your surface. So I'm going to use the stamping plate number 33, ornaments. That's one of our newest stamping plates. I'm going to stamp with a uh, long-lasting polish black and of course my clear stamp and I need my scraper. So I'm really filling my element. I'm going to use this element uh, with um, the polish and well, this is a different color per pain. The blue. Oh, the blue. Yeah. Beautiful. Really love that color. Well, I love all of the colors. <laughs> And um, and uh, the same as Julia, I'm using uh, uh, the shaper. Yeah, the silicone shaper. The silicone. It really shaper. makes a difference, eh? 
Yeah, it really does. I saw um, uh, Julia did something with the silicone shaper. Well, uh, last week the peacock, yeah. And then I thought, hmm, let's try this at home. So I did, and it's really, it, it gets more shine uh, onto this stamp. Well, you see, watch and see. So a big drop of my polish, fill in my plate. Just gonna turn it a bit. One, two, three. Pick it up. And because you can see through it, because of the clear stamp, and then cool. just pushing it in. Like this. Now you can remove with your uh, fluffy brush, fan brush, the excessive. More do you easy. have to be careful when you do this? The um, removing of the chrome par particles? No, no. Well, let's. It even stays on if I do. This is a dry nail wipe. Ah. You see? Okay. And it even stays on if I do the same with prep and wipe. Because of the all of those shimmer, you can remove that with. Just a teeny tiny bit, finishing wipe, prep and wipe, and it stays on. Cool Acetone it. will disappear, all of the pigments, of course, but yeah. So, I'm doing the same at the end, at the, uh, the end of my tip. Uh, just the same ornament, and then the top of my tip, and then uh, Extrema Top Gel, and then that is the, the next step. So, uh, see you in a bit. Yeah, what you perhaps don't know is that we have here in our here, the director of Nail Talk Live, Jaap Steeman, and he sometimes gives us uh, little hints and pointers, especially helpful when our hair is in the way <laughs> or when we forget to mention something. But that sometimes means that we are like, oh yeah, yes, of course, I have to mention this. And I now hear that the, our next video is ready to go, and that is Natalia Kritsenka, and she's going to make a milky nail. What is a milky nail? <coughs> so, Natalia is going to use Power Gel White. The form is, of course, already applied, and she's applying the Power Gel White straight on to the natural nail. In this case, it's an easy trainer, so a training tool to make it easier to create shapes, structures. If you would work on a natural nail, I would always recommend a thin coat of clear underneath any color to prevent a pigmentating the natural nail bed, but also to make it easier when you want to do a fill to remove everything up to the clear layer. Using an acrylic brush, a prestige number 10 brush, an old brush, she's now bringing everything into the desired shape. And that's easier with an acrylic brush because this is real hair and it is more flexible so you'll get a softer sculpting motion and the nail will be softer in general and more precise. When this is cured, Natalia is now using frosted uh, fiber coat white. Not frosted, but fiber coat white, of course. And she's applying this over the whole nail as uh, a color application almost. Of course, make sure that you work very precise around the cuticle, because especially with a color like white, the cuticle definition is super important. Take your time and make sure everything is very smooth. Before curing this, Natalia is adding cling fill to the surface of the nail to create like a wrinkled, rimpled effect. Be gentle, don't push too hard because then the chance is quite uh, big that you will push the fiber coat into the cuticle. So stay away from the cuticle and just soft dab it to perfection. Of course, when you work on a client, it could also be a smaller piece of cling film. Remove this after curing 30 seconds in the twin light carefully to ensure that you don't tear your cling film. And you will see a very abstract, almost punky, rocker nail. She's again using fiber coat, and now this is the frosted pink, my favorite shade in the fiber coats. 
Did you know, by the way, that with fiber coat you can even elongate the natural nail a little bit? You can even work on forms with fiber coat. Using the frosted pink gives the semi-see-through effect and you'll see the lines and the demarcations underneath the frosted pink and this gives it the milk bath effect. It's like you're in a bath looking through a little bit of, of, of a milky shade to what's underneath. Of course you will need to give this time to self-level otherwise you will file endlessly and of course you have to be careful that you don't file through everything because you want to see that crimpled effect, the rimpled effect. Adding a little bit of extra frosted pink to the apex zone of the natural nail. And this is also the product that you use to smooth everything. Fiber coat is extremely self-leveling, but if you're afraid that it may not work perfectly, don't worry, you can take a smaller brush just to touch up or hold the finger of your client upside down so that the mass of the product, the volume of the product flows to the desired location. Of course, after curing, this nail needs to be finished by hand and filing. The surface filing is not really very big here because Natalia is sculpting with her brush and not with the file. Finishing everything with Supreme Finish and the word, the name already says it, Supreme Finish, the best finish there is, a super high gloss finish, no sticky layer, flexible enough to be used on the natural nails, perfect against discoloration and just the best top gel I know. Here you can see this beautiful effect of the rimpled design underneath, milk bath nail, a milky nail. Well, Natalia is a very creative nail technician and a great trainer. I'm very proud to call Natalia Kritsenko my dear friend and she's making all of these videos at home in the Ukraine. She, her husband built a shed for her and there's a camera and a studio and she's creating all of these designs for us. And of course, we want to share these with you. Jessica, where are you going next? Now I'm going to paint, um, well, the, the, the back of my owl. So first, all of the wings, a tip of the tail, all with liner gel white, um, just a flash cure and then color in with looking uh, through the looking glass polishes. So, let's do this. So, this is my uh, stamp. Extrema top gel was on top. Over here is the, the head of the owl coming, the belly, and the tail, and the tail have two layers. So, at first, just a tiny bit of liner gel white on your brush. And just soft strokes. It's difficult if you do not know what you are going to make. So just look on um, Pinterest or uh, on the internet and find a, a picture laid next to you when you are creating something new. So the outside of my wing is falling off my design. So it takes less work, like this. More smaller feathers. Oh, again, falling off. This is the up side of the wing. And then over here, some small feathers as well. And I'm doing the same on this side. Maybe to fill up a bit over here. Just creating the illusion that there's more into my design. And then of course, a line going up. To really 
give shape to my wing. Like this. And now I am doing exactly the same on this side of my nail, of my design. Flesh curing that. And then adding some color. So I will do this. Uh, I'll go back to the pine. Yeah, it, amazing, a beautiful wing. And when I'm looking at that wing, I'm thinking, oh, that reminds me almost like a phoenix. Yeah. Rise of the phoenix. That is cool And as well. that also reminds me that Julia Vorobieva is going to show us how to create a three-dimensional, 3D phoenix. And I believe that's scheduled for next week. So keep a close eye on Nail Talk Live because inspiration is our middle name. Let's go to, let's, let me check my schedule, yes. We have a new collection of summer colors called the Summer Cocktails. And these are available from the 20th of May in Holland. And also contact your distributor. Let's have a look at the preview of the Summer Cocktails. Six colors, trendy colors, neon colors, especially the Bloody Mary. The, the name gives a hint of red, but it's actually almost orange neon red. Beautiful, just yummy. And of course, summer cocktails. I love a cocktail now and then. Before we go back to Jessica, we first have to check out what Julia Koncherova made using foil and stamping. So Julia is going to use base and top straight on her transparent stamp. And now she's taking a little bit of foil, messing up her foil. What is she doing? Oh, she's putting the clear base and top on the back of the foil and then curing it and then peeling it off so that you get an abstract like foil particle that's very thin and now she's doing the reverse by doing the foil over it. Well, that's a cool design. That's a cool way to use your product. Of course, finishing the nail, and now she's using liner gel black just to create details and line work around that particle, that, that part of the foil, the nail art foil. And the cool thing with Julia Koncherova is that she really creates very own, very specific designs, oh, different ways of working. See what she's made. Super fast, super easy, and really something that you can use in your nail studio when you work on your clients. And of course, you need to follow Julia Koncherova either on Instagram or on Facebook. She's also from the Ukraine and part of our expert team of trainers, as is Jessica. Yes, I am. Love, Julia. Um, okay, so the liner gel uh, white I've done on the other side as well. Let's do some color now. So the glass polishes are transparent and they're really amazing because the white is still showing underneath and you get really a poppy bright color. Um, you can mix them together as well. So I am adding a little bit of pink into my yellow to get an orange and just go over and because you are working on a black background if you go slightly over your black it doesn't show later on in your design except for the pink who has a little bit of a neonish um, tone if it goes over black 
but it will all fade away later on. So, the orange. Now I'm taking the red gel polish, this really cool color. And blend them just soft into each other. Wiping off your brush in between to get it clean on a dry uh, brush wipe. And if you are afraid to work like this, just flash cure in between and go on with your next color. If you're afraid that it all starts run, all of your colors. So these will all be green. And over here, a bit of yellow again. And these will be green and yellow as well. And then when all my colors are cured for 30 seconds, then I will uh, cap this with my extreme matte top gel. And over that layer, I'm going to add shade and outlines into the feathers. And of course, the second layer of my design. So. Like this. So I'm doing exactly the same on this side, and I will see you in a bit again. Yeah, are you curious how that is going to turn out? I still see that phoenix in my mind's eye when I see those colors and those lines, but I have something with phoenixes. We're going to look at a video that Katerina Conchar made, and Katerina is specialized in air nails also other forms of nail art, but air nails is really her thing. And she's one of our trainers now for more than 10 years, also in the Ukraine. And let's have a look at what she's going to create with air nails. We always call Katerina lovingly our little one, as she's, uh, not, uh, she's very petite. She has a base color and now she's creating an ombre effect using air nails and within a blue tone. There are different colors of course in air nails. I believe there are 54 different colors of air nails paint. And she's really building up the intensity and creating darker parts around the edges of the nail. This is a beach inspired design, really fitting to the summer cocktails and the, the feeling and the longing for, for the beach life summer and she's creating kind of the effect of the water going over the sand. A little bit of white to give the, the foam, the frothy uh, waves. The air nails masking can be reused, of course, and she's applying it a little bit lower to create even more um, movement in the nail. It's always important in nail art, especially in this type of nail art, which is thematic, to create movement, to, to play around with shaping and play around with different effects. When you're finished, you can reuse the air nails masking, but make sure that you put it in a little palette book so that it stays yeah, clean, clean enough so that it sticks on the nail surface. If you want to clean the air nails masking, you can do this with alcohol 70% or a little bit of finishing wipe. But be careful not to touch the gluey side on the back. So you really see the movement of the ocean, the waves, the frothy waves. And now she's taking another masking, and this is a little crab. And that little crab is coming out of the sea onto the beach. First a thin layer of white, and this helps to give the, the crab later a more intense color because of course she's going to build this up as well. 
I'm always mesmerized how to, how they create. Jessica also creates a lot of designs with air nails because you really have to think in layering. It's working on top of each other while in my day I was really used to working next to each other. So not going up but to the sides. Now with the orange color, a neon orange color, she's really giving definition to that little crab that's walking over there on the beach. Searching for some little child to scare, perhaps. Le li a little bit of shadows for even more definition. I'm not typically fond of thematic nails, although one of these designs combined, for instance, with the summer cocktails gel polishes on the other nails really gives a nice kick because then it's like a little treasure on your hands. And a little highlight on the other side. So on one side shadow, on the other side highlighting. It's always a balance of shadow and light in art. Now she removes it and oh, there it is. Super cute. And now what she, she now takes the inner part of the masking, so the crab motif, and push, places it on top of the crab that she airbrushed, very precisely, because she now wants to create shadow underneath the crab. So where she used the highlighting white color, she will add a darker color underneath to really separate this little figure from the base layer. When you use air nails, uh, the buildup of shadowing helps to visualize the different effects. Otherwise, it would be too flat, too, too, too two dimensional. Of course, you have to know how to work with your gun because the pressure and the amount of air used in combination with the proper air nails colors, the proper air nails paints, is uh, the base of the technique. And if you are able to do this technique perfectly, then you don't need a lot of time to clean your gun. Now she's spattering a little bit of, of white, tiny elements of the paint, just splitter, splatter, splatter, just to give little drops of white. And of course, she's going to finish this. You could finish this either with extreme matte for a matte effect or with supreme finish for shiny effect. And she chose extreme mud, and you can see why. Isn't that an amazing design? And super fast. Follow Katarina Conchar on Instagram or on Facebook. And Air Nails by Magnetic, of course, was um, developed by Marina Fialco together with Svetlana Andreva in St. Petersburg. And four years ago, perhaps five years ago, they first came to Holland showing us how to do this. And now, thanks also to Jessica, we really see a lot of people coming for air nails classes and trying out air nails designs. But let's go back to hand painting. Let's go back to Jessica. Yes. So um, let's do the next step. Come, let's see. So these are all my colors, all nice and perfect underneath my extreme matte top gel. And now I am adding some shade to my design. As you see, those white dots are mm. later on my guideline for where my uh, head, my the shape of my head is going to be. So, the detailer three, I'm going to use just a tiny bit on my brush and just add some onto my extreme matte top gel. Wipe off my brush, wiping it uh, dry so I can blend more easy the shade of every element. I'm just softly stroking and pushing. I'm really pushing into well, the, the surface of my background. and softly stroking towards the outside of my feather. Like this. This will be black. So wiping my brush off, flatten my brush, 
just with dapping movements let your feathers disappear into the background like this and the same for these feathers wipe off your brush flatten it and push it into the black. Of course, a design needs outlines. I'm using the Jessica's Choice to create outlines for every feather. And to give it more um, sharpness, even extra details in the middle of all of my feathers are really cool. And now you already see that your feather is really popping out because of the outlines. So, over here as well. And this is perfect because you are working on a black background, you can um, create, but even so, fixing things. If you just um, made a little bit mi a mistake with your liner gel white, or even with your color, you can fix it now with your liner gel black. And just with the tip of my brush, I'm following every line I've made already. And creating extra details. Maybe a thin extra line. Like this. So again, I'm doing this on the other side of my um, design as well. Shall I show something more, Pepijn, or do you want to? No, I, ha I have something yes, nice to okay. have a look at, and that is a commercial made about air nails. Ooh. endless possibilities with the air nail system by Magnetic. And this commercial was made by Cheyenne together with her mother, Anjo. And Anjo is also one of her air nails trainers in Holland. And they made this while in quarantine. And it's just a great, great commercial to see. And the music is so cool. Last week, we already showed you a beautiful nail made by the fabulous, the fantastic Marjorie Fischerie. And uh, that was a butterfly nail. But we have another butterfly nail ready for you. So let's have a look at this amazing, talented, technical nail artist. Marjorie Fischerie works mostly with Builder Gel Clear. Even though um, I was thinking when I was watching this and I was working together with her, I thought to myself, why don't you do this with acrylic? But she's located in the south of France and she really likes to work with the gel. She's first creating the shape of the butterfly, identical on both sides of the nail form. Of course, first focusing on one part of the nail form before going to the other side and curing in between. When the shape, the form has been created, almost like filigrane, then she fills in 
the whole meal using Pilda Gel Clear. She's removing the sticky layer, the sticky residue, and now she's going to continue working using Power Gel. So she's creating a reverse nail bed or a nail bed elongation. This has to be quite a long nail bed to compensate and to level out the whole nail. Power Gel is the easiest product to use when you want to create a reverse nail bed. At the cuticle zone, she's adding a second application of Power Gel. And now switching to her an acrylic brush, it was a tip of Natalia, but she also uses it to smooth out everything and to create that perfect nail bed. After cure, this needs to be filed. The wall of the smile line needs to be filed to get a super crisp, super sharp smile line. And also the surface of the nail bed is now filed, not the application on the form, only the nail bed area. Using a sapphire file, she sharpens all the lines to create perfection. Now she's mixing some gels together to create an almost purple-like shade. First darker color around the smile line to get great definition, to get a very dramatic effect. So she's using liner gel black and blending everything out. The corners of the smile line need special attention to make them really darker, sharper and more dramatic. With the fresh brush, she's pulling everything out and she's um, fading it to nothing on the tip. Now she's using the mixture together with red to get the, the, the rest of the nail covered. And again, she's using with a fresh brush. She's now leveling everything to make sure that the whole nail is properly balanced. And she's creating the shape of the nail. So the upper arch of the nail, making sure that everything is smooth, everything is perfect, everything is even. With nails like this, of course, the beauty is the moment when the form is going to be removed because then you can see the shape and you can see whether or not everything is like you want it to be. Using the spatula, she carefully removes the form and of course, hold the nail in your hand when you do this and remove the form. And now you can see the purple look coming through. Filing this nail is very difficult. First, you concentrate on filing the nail as it were a stiletto nail. So top view, and then you turn the hand and you take side view using the prep bit and an e-file to perfect the lines of the butterfly and using the sapphire file for perfect connection at the stress point of the natural nail. When everything is perfect and you're satisfied and happy, of course you need to finish the nail. And she's doing this using Supreme Finish. Make sure everything is coated, but don't work too slow because otherwise the product on the sides would seep and you will lose your sharp definition. Beautiful nail, very sharp nail. It's now cured and we're adding some little elements. This is really a show nail. This is something that you can show your clients or your students that you really master the, the techniques needed. So you can see the lines of the butterfly, you can see the effect, it almost is ready to fly away. But of course not yet, because Marjorie is not only a technical nail artist, but also a nail art artist. And she really needs some little pearls here in the center of the nail to make it more, even more a jewel. These nails are already jewels in themselves, but now with some little pearls, a little bit of Bullions, the shine coming through, the semi-transparency, the line work, just an amazing nail, a beautiful technical nail by one of the most technical trainers I know, the amazing, the fantastic Marjorie Fischerie, one of our trainers in France. When I look at a nail like that, I always get inspired. When I was working with Marjorie before we started filming, I thought to myself, that's a difficult nail to make. Why would somebody do that? After filming, I was so inspired that I actually also made one of these nails and it was one of, uh, one of the posters of Magnetic Nail Design. So, great source of inspiration. 
let's have a look at what Jessica is doing. Yes, so all of my colors are done. All of my uh, shade is uh, in my first layer. I've kept my design with the extreme matte top, and now I'm going again with my liner gel white, uh, creating some more feathers. Let's go and have a look. So, <coughs> like this. So over here, I'm going to add some more feathers. who are falling over the first feathers. Just filling up the space I still have with uh, all of the black. Like this. Over here, our little feet coming. The toes of my owl. A belly is going to be over here. And here, really, the head. So, my guidelines are my eyes, then the beak, and a pointy beak that I will have, the eyebrows, and a curved, and over here as well. Like this. Over here, I'm starting with my head. In a round, because the head is round. Then my eye, well, let's give it some Little dots. It really is coming alive, huh? Cool, huh? The eyes are really looking at you. Already. And later on, let's shade that eye in, and that's really cool. Um, let's do some feathers. I'm really pushing my uh, detail three, and then lifting it up to get the tip. Get a sharp point on the outside of my feather. My feathers are starting big and ending small, like this. Over here as well. It's always a bit different, difficult on this side. this. Then, over here, the belly is coming and uh, I will always have, I don't know, what, what is this called in English? Do you know, Pepijn? What part do you mean? Um, they always have a, a, a bit on, the, on its chest. Yeah, the chest, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. The middle of the chest. The middle of the chest. Again, feathers. Yeah, it's really cool. You can really see it already. The body you're going to create using uh, little strokes uh, yeah. also? So feather by feather? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just creating the outside of my uh, belly, the body. And just making uh, little Vs. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be really perfect. It's just by um, creating, again, the illusion that there's a whole lot going on on the belly. So, cool. all of my liner gel lines need to be cured. This takes uh, a little time, and then later on, let's do the end. Yeah, of course, I'm taking over while this is curing. and. 
But nowadays, of course, the most important thing to protect yourself against the COVID virus is washing your hands at any chance you have. And washing your hands and proper hand hygiene is extremely important to prevent contagion and to remain healthy. However, the disadvantage of having to wash your, your hands every day, so many times, is that your skin dries out. And to have a perfect smooth skin, perfectly taken care of, perfectly groomed, and soft and seductive, we have the seduction product by Magnetic. If you don't know seduction by magnetic yet, then you're really missing out on something. Made from the pure nature's ingredients, the beauty from nature, a gift for you, beautiful, soothing, smoothing, and just, yeah, I'm in love with seduction. It was a project May and I did, and it took almost longer than two and a half years to get everything together, to perfect ingredients, the perfect perfume, the packaging, the, the richness, the natural ingredients, and that all came together in that beautiful line seduction that we're still adding on to. Even though I can continue talking about seduction for hours and hours, we first go back to Jessica. Yes, and I can't stop. <laughs> you can't stop talking, and I can't stop arting. So I've added some colors already. And just moving on, on to my next. So, a little bit of orange. Uh, the eyebrow. The over here. And over here. I've added already uh, red glass polishes, and now it looks a bit scary in the eye, mm -hmm. but later on we uh, are going to add uh, pupil and of course uh, shade, so it will be, but it's really red that it's uh, pink or red, yeah, ruby, like this. So now yellow. And also yellow for the outside of my feathers. Like this. And I want my dots yellow as well. And later on, we are going to shade in. And then you will see all of the colors popping out. It's really cool. So green. And my design needs a little bit of blue. So these feathers I'm going to make blue. A colorful bird. Yeah. 
It's, r- it's really a tattoo-inspired design, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really is. I have a similar bird on my arm. Really? Yeah, but that's a phoenix. Th- that's probably oh, that's why, why I keep on going back to that phoenix. Okay. <laughs> you don't have color on your body, huh? Yes, I do. Colorful? Yeah. What, what color is it? Um, the cor- colors that you're using. So it's yellow, orange, red. Oh, wow. But mine have has uh, little diamonds in the fi- uh, tail feathers. Ooh, want to see, Pepijn? I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I try to... And now he's quiet. Be, uh, <laughs> 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 well, anyhow, you're still blending everything together. Yeah, talk over it, Pepijn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh? yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm blending over. And, oh, my feet, my feet need to be orange as well. And oh then, yeah. let's cure. <laughs> and then, let's do the last step. So cute. Yes, that that's really cool. Thank uh, you. I was just looking at my director and he was just telling me that we have a special commercial to show you. Because of course Natalia Gritsenka was working with Fibercoat. And Fibercoat is just a great product to use because it gives um Volume to the nail, it's strong enough to extend the natural nail a little, but also perfect to smooth, uneven surfaces. So let's have a look at the commercial that we made for fiber coat. We have five colors of fiber coat uh, available. Frosted pink is by far my favorite, but we also have a great nail plate extender color, extender, cool extender. We have a um, soft white, a natural white, an extreme white, and a super transparent pink color. And also Julia Vorobieva uses these fiber coat a lot in her layering designs, her silk flower designs, because it, especially the frosted pink, when you use that, it kind of pushes the design a little bit to the back visually. Anyhow, a must-have product, even soakable, if you prefer to soak your nails, and available in so many different beautiful colors. An absolute must-have. Jessica? Yeah, uh, just adding an, a teeny tiny bit of extra color. And I need to cap this uh, with my extreme matte top gel. And then uh, liner gel black to create extra dimension, extra details, extra shade. So, just going over. And this needs to cure for 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you really want to wear the nails with the extreme matte effect, so for instance you have gel polish on your nails and you want that super matte effect, make sure that you cure it at least one and a half minutes. The yeah. longer you cure it, the better the effect. Also make sure that you shake the bottle before use. Pay close attention to the cuticle because sometimes you just miss it at a cuticle and then you have a little shiny spot at the cuticle. And of course that is not really nice. And the last tip with extreme matte top gel, Even though it doesn't have a sticky layer, it completely cures in the light. When you use a little bit of prep and wipe to clean the surface of the extreme mud, it becomes even more mud. And suppose you have a client that wears a lot of makeup or that uses a lot of uh, body lotion and face lotions, sometimes you will notice that the extreme mud becomes a little bit more like a velour effect or a little bit more a satin shine, so it gets a little bit more shiny. Just take a little bit of alcohol. I think everybody is ha- has alcohol at home, and I don't mean vodka. I mean 70% alcohol. Just clean the surface of the nails with a little wipe, and then you will see that the nails are super matte and stay matte for at least three to four weeks. Just a little tip. Yes. So, extreme matte top gel, and now let's do some shade. Detailer three. 
and just add again some shade. I'm just pulling of putting all of my uh, liner gel black la dots where I want shade. And then blending it out later. That's really cool of the liner gel because it stays where you put it. And you can go back later on. It's really over here, of course. Some shade. And over here. So wiping off, drying my brush, flatten your brush, tapping movements, and blend it really into the black, like this. Again, flatten your brush. And now, if you put a little bit of black next to color, the color will pop more. And you can see now really the pink is coming out more vibrant. I really love that. Jessica, if you would do this on a client, uh, what would you combine it with? Because, of course, 10 of these nails is a little perhaps a bit much. Black would be an easy choice to do, an mm -hmm. easy combination. Mm -hmm. But what would you advise us? Um, I would really love, I love to see the color uh, of my design come back uh, onto the next la um, nail. So maybe blue or the, the pinkish even, that's cool. But I think the blue would be really perfect. And we are getting uh, a new gel polish, the Summer Cocktail line, who has the color Majestic Blue. And that will be red next to this design. Can't wait to show it. Yeah, that would be a cool combination because sometimes you don't know how to combine intricate work like this, but blue would be very cool. Mm -hmm. So, all of the shade is in. Of course, a little bit of sh shade under the beak as well. I love it already. Like this. Okay, this needs to cure. And then we can add the details. And details, what kind of details? The outlines for my eyes, of course. And we're still missing uh, pupils and highlights into my eyes. And uh, well, some of the feathers need outlines as well. And then we are done. Yeah, cool. Aren't you curious to see what she's adding? Because I mean, this design is already absolutely stunning. And as with Julia Vorobieva, I often think when I look at Jessica working, I think to myself, well, it has to be done now. <laughs> Another thing that always strikes me is the use of the uh, stamp, the stamping nail art. Because, of course, it is, it, it is there, she did it, and it's part, and that makes it like a stamping nail art thing. But it's really only an effect in the background, and just giving a little bit of, of visual interest to everything. So, Jessica already mentioned the summer co cocktails. We already showed you earlier in the show, but once more, available from the 20th of May, Summer Cocktails, the must-have gel polishes by Magnetic.
Summer cocktails are available from the 20th of May and an absolute must-have for the summer days ahead of us. And of course, you also want to look at your hands and just enjoy everything summer is able to give you, even when you're not going on vacation per se to another country, but just enjoying summer and enjoying your own nails. Let's get back to Jessica and see what the end result is. Yeah, I hope you like it. So, everything's cured. I've kept this with Supreme Finish uh, Top Gel. And let's look at the end result. Wow. Super cool, Jessica. Thank you. You really see the depth. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So, and in the Dutch show, I've uh, showed this one. Yeah. Uh, I was there oh as well, oh, so I saw how you did it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This one I did in the Dutch show. Yeah. Because I still like the difference between the shiny part and the matte part. Yeah. Really. I love that too. So I hope you liked it. I hope I've 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 inspired you. And uh, well, let's show us some uh, of your tattoo design. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Yeah. Next week, of course, we will have another Nail Talk Live on Friday, the UK version. Also on YouTube. Make sure that you follow us on YouTube. Magnetic Nail Talk is the name of our channel. Put on notifications, subscribe, and make sure that you don't miss anything that we do. In the Nail Talk Live group, this Monday at 8 o'clock, I will go live with Jessica. If you want to participate, if you want to be there, just make sure that you uh, do a little, uh, that you ask to be added to the group. I will add you to the group and then on Monday evening we will have a lot of fun together. This was Nail Talk Live for tonight and I spoke a lot about the new colors coming. Sometimes we forget that we also have colors that are already available but still beautiful, still just the best colors that you can imagine. So while we are ending the show, have a look at jumping into spring. <laughs>